Hello, I'm Fast Lawyer. Today we're going to do a Let's Play and Initial Impressions review for Cardcraft VR, a game released on the Steam Store November 1st, 2018 for all the major VR headsets. Now, it did have a full release recently, 1.0 release, uh, February 16th, 2022. Uh, this game normally retails for $40. It's currently on a 20% off sale. And I actually bought this back in 2019 for nine dollars on steam yes i got a great deal <laughs> if you can find it at that price i highly recommend this because it's a lot of fun at that price um good luck on that though <laughs> now this game does not support motion controllers so it's uh either gamepad um keyboard and mouse or steering wheel now if you have a steering wheel i highly recommend going to the steam community community forums and seeing if yours is supported. Uh, I believe for many of them, you have to manually configure it yourself. I'm using an Xbox One gamepad and that worked out of the box, no issues. Now there's not many VR, uh, unfortunately there's not many VR settings here. There's VR gaze input, VR world scale, and VR audio mode, that's it. Now there are some graphical settings. As you can see, I have everything set to max. I did lower motion blur. It's by default at 10%, I lowered it to 0%. And obviously you can, up the resolution scale up from 100. I have it at 100 on my RTX 3080, by the way, this is on the Unreal Engine. But I have my uh, resolution scale at 100 because I did notice a frame rate drop or two. So I'm, I'm keeping it at 100. Obviously you can pump that up if you want better graphics, but I'd rather have a steady 90 frames per second. And for the most part, it does have steady 90 frames per second when I'm racing. However, here in the menu, I noticed it goes to 60 frames per second. So keep that in mind. Uh, as far as game, uh, you know, you can turn assist on or off, uh, you know, a lot of common stuff, HUD on or off, you know, uh, as you can see my assist there, I, <laughs> I have the racing line off, but I have clutch on, auto shift off, auto downshift on. So yes, <laughs> I'm using those assists. Uh, otherwise I'd be having a lot more difficulty. Again, this is an initial impressions, not a full review. And uh, actually, what I do want to do is uh, now that I'm here, let's let's change it to Imperial and Fahrenheit. <laughs> hey, I'm in the USA. Sorry, guys. <laughs> uh, there is multiplayer, and let me show the mul online multiplayer here. Now, the online multiplayer is basically, I under as the way I understand it, this is like racing against ghosts, and it happens like every 15 minutes. And these are for time practice, so. It's not true or real multiplayer, but that's my understanding. I don't know if the devs are ever going to change that, but from my understanding right now, you can, you can do multiplayer. It is fun. I did play multiplayer and I did find it to be fun, um, but uh, apparently you're racing against Ghost and it's every 15 minutes. It's only for the practice last, but it's great, especially if you're new to the game. Uh, you know, uh, you know, basically learn the tracks. But uh, what we're going to do, though, is we're going to race. We're going to do the Atlanta. Now, there's several uh, maps here, as you can see. So lots of different maps. Uh, we're going to do the Atlanta Motorsports Park. And there's also lots of different carts. Uh, well, not there's five. <laughs> the KA100, X30, KZ2, the Kart Cross, and the Monster Kart. Now, the Monster Kart and the Kart Cross are pretty difficult, so I don't recommend them as, as a beginner. I'm going to stick to KA100, Overcast, yes. Three drivers, three lap limit, AI difficulty medium. And let's go ahead and start the event. So we're going to start. Now, for some reason, they have you, like, buying all these carts and stuff, but it seems like you always have the same amount of money. So I'm not sure that mechanic is... is I'm not sure why that's in the game. They should basically just either have you unlock with experience or just have everything unlocked at the beginning. I, I don't even know why they have you buying stuff because you seem to have unlimited money, so it doesn't really matter. Now, you do have a rolling start, um, but it doesn't really matter. You can just have the gas pressed all the way, pedal to the metal from the start, and once the race begins, you, you'll, you'll, you'll go full blast. So here we go. Now, the thing I really like about this game is the visuals. These are amazing visuals, in my uh, my opinion. Uh, these are laser scan tracks, so that's why they look super realistic. Now, I will say this, not all the tracks look great. So, I mean, well, let, let me explain. Not all the tracks look this great. Okay, this one looks amazing. 
um, and some of the other tracks do too, but I noticed some where the background just didn't look all that great. So I have noticed on some of the tracks, the backgrounds are pretty weak. Now, even on this one, Atlanta, uh, I do notice some some issues with the background, uh, with the trees. Like I've noticed some pop in and just some, you know, some maybe some artifacts. So just some visual issues in the background. But as far as, you know, the, the track itself, it looks amazing, very realistic. Again, I'm on an RTX 3080, and this is on the Unreal Engine. And right now it is going at a steady 90 frames per second. And again, this is a 100 resolution. I could pump up the resolution scale uh, if I wanted even higher visual, uh, higher visual fidelity. Uh, but I like it. I, I like the visuals. Um, you know, it almost looks real. Like it, it, it looks very good in my opinion. Um, I can't imagine in the future that this will look even better where you can't tell the difference between a game and the real world, but this is pretty close to it. Uh, that's how good the, the track looks in my... Uh oh watch out. Oh, no, no. Woo. Okay. Uh, obviously, like I said, I haven't spent a whole lot of time in the game, about an hour, so I'm still learning the race. So, yeah, I'm going to finish last, last place for sure. No doubt about that. I'm not catching up to anybody. But it, it is fun. But yeah, part part of the part of the learning curve is just learning the track, knowing when to brake, knowing when you can just kind of go through the turn without braking, uh, learning some of the the track lines that you should be trying to do. Uh, oh no! Oh no! No no! I, I I was too aggressive there. I almost lost control. I was trying to get the right racing line, but I instead I almost lost control. Oh, oh, wow, that was pretty bad. That was pretty bad. That was... <laughs> um, yeah, so as far as this... As far as the racing experience, I really like it. We already have a winner. I already lost. <laughs> okay. Well, let's see how well I can do. I'm gonna finish pretty way behind, like a, like maybe 30 seconds behind, pretty pretty far behind. But at least I didn't crash or roll over or anything like that. <laughs> uh, we might try multiplayer next. Uh, at least I can show you. Okay, there we go. We finished the track. Now let me look at the time. I'm gonna be looking at my my phone here. Okay, well, there's seven minutes before we get to the top of the hour, so I'm not sure it's worth it to try to get to multiplayer. Again, it goes by 15-minute increments. Um, now, you can't watch replay in VR. So let's go to... Well, actually, you know, let me talk about the game, and then we could be waiting online, I guess. Um, so like I said, you could do practice, race, time trials, or online. Uh, let's do online... And I don't think it matters. Actually, you know what? So, uh, there is an event here. So, uh, online, okay, let me explain. Okay, so there's the normal online. In fact, let, let me... There's here, here's the normal online, okay? And so every 15 minutes you can see there's something running and I don't think I can join this anymore because I have to wait till at seven and register. And as you can see, there's still five minutes before I can enter the, the event. And so what you're doing is you're racing against other ghosts. And obviously this tells you you're racing the KA100 on the WMKC track and I think they're always cloudy I prefer cloudy just because you know the sun doesn't get in your way you can still see the track very well um, but pretty much you're waiting here for the five minutes um, and I think that's the reason I'm going to withdraw so I don't want to make the video about me just waiting <laughs> to get but uh, let's go ahead and do time trials though okay time trial 
And um, I believe there was an event for for one of these. I don't know which one it was. It might be the monster cart. Let me see. Is it? And as you can see, you can try to beat the time of all these people. And the KA100, I believe, is the easiest one to try to do. Let's do the X30 since we already did the... Let's, let's just go this one. And you can see times for each event. And you just want to beat the lap. <laughs> and, and as you can see, some of the, the laps are pretty... Oh, let's do Hangar. Hangar looks interesting, doesn't it? All right, so let's let's uh, mode face off. Whatever, it doesn't matter, right? All right, so <laughs> all right. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, multiplayer again, it's only against ghosts. So I'm not sure it's really worth showing off and waiting that long to get into there. It's just you know matter of the bad timing, but it's okay. I think this is better. The time is over. Talk is over. <laughs> Oh no. I already messed up. <laughs> this is probably the most arcade looking track. Uh, kind of go, oh wow, jeez. Is this for real? Is this like a real track? Cause it's so slippery. Wow. Uh, I feel like I'm racing on ice right now. Oh. <laughs> Wow, yeah, I'm not sure I have the, uh... oh no, <laughs> wow, okay, yeah, I don't think I have the driving knowledge, like, I've never raced on this track, and, yeah, it's super slippery, and I'm gonna have to learn how to do these turns, like, like, I'm going too slow, because now I'm really scared of losing control, oh, there, ooh, Oh, that was good. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. All right. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh. 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 That. Whoa. 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 <laughs> whoa. Ooh. Oh. Wow. I don't know if I'm doing good or not, but. <laughs> oh. I lost total. Whoa. <laughs> I lost total control. Come on, buddy. Woo. Uh, I mean, I like this game. It's fun. The the graphics are just amazing. That that's really the thing that blows my mind. It's just how realistic this looks. Now, this is probably the the least realistic looking one, just because it's you know it's a hangar. There's like neon lights, but still, it looks amazing. Um, and I'm glad I showed off this track. I didn't even know it existed. <laughs> It definitely feels like you're racing on ice, though. Whoa. Whoa. All right. <laughs> I won. Somehow. I have no idea how, <laughs> but I did. <laughs> okay. Uh, I think I'll cut it there. Uh, it's just Cartcraft VR. Now, I paid $9 for this, so I'm super happy with my purchase. Uh, but obviously, the normal price is 40 bucks. It's currently on a 20% off sale. Um, honestly, uh, it's fun, but definitely you have to be like a fan of carding. Uh, if you're not, you may not enjoy this because it, it is a little bit on the technical side, but also it's it's not as technical as you know some of the... Hold on, let me let me get out of here. It's not as technical as some of the other VR racers, you know, like a Seto Corsa. You know, it's not that technical. Um, it, you know, so it it has a learning curve, but once you learn it, it, it does get better. And you just want to shave off seconds off that lap time. That's really what you're going for here. Um, like I said, there are several tracks. Uh, there's several carts, um, but like I said, one of them I couldn't see very well in VR. Um, I might. Let me just. Wait, did it choose monster cart? Okay, let's just let's just show that. Let's show this really quickly. And uh, no, that's that's not. 
Oh, oh wait. No, we picked we picked the wrong one. It wasn't monster. It wasn't monster cart. It was cart cross. Sorry. Okay. There we. Yeah, that's the one. Okay. Sorry. So I just wanted to show what I meant by this one was difficult to see in VR. Um, I noticed like it's a little green. I'm not even sure how to describe it. There was like a little green bar uh, right in front of your viewing angle, which I think is a graphical glitch. But yeah, I mean, look, look at these visuals. I mean, my God, this looks amazing. Uh, but I, yeah, I won't be able to. Nope, I won't be. Nope, I'm, I'm going to. Yeah, I knew I wasn't going to be able to control the the cart. <laughs> uh, it is difficult to see in VR. Obviously, you got a very small. Now, I don't know if, can you guys see that on the desktop view? I'm seeing like these green bars or dots in front of me. So it's definitely a graphical glitch. Oh. Oh, wow. Whoa, wow. What happened there? I, did I, I think he, uh, see the car, you see, do you guys see that? It's like a little green dots, bars in front of me going uh, horizontally. And it does affect your view. And there's also like a little shimmer in front of you. It's only with this with this cart though that I see this. Ish Ooh. Ooh, okay. <laughs> okay, let's just have fun. Let's just let me let me just show some of the fun you can have here. <laughs> let's just spin the car. Let's just lose control. <laughs> well, anyways, this is Cardcraft VR. Yeah, it's a lot of fun to do little donuts and lose control and flip over if if you can handle it. Uh, there's also a little drone there, by the way. I don't think that works in VR, but it does work in non-VR. Uh, like I said, I had fun. This is just an in initial impressions review. Uh, I will say this is the most fun kart racer I played in VR. Um, I did play some on um, Project Cars. There's a kart racing mode there. And I would say this is definitely a lot more fun. Now there is another kart racer in VR. I think it's called like Pro Kart Racing. I, I haven't played that one yet. But yeah, um, I had fun. The tracks are just amazing. The visuals are amazing. I wish there was more to multiplayer. That's probably my biggest complaint is the multiplayer is just like that, those time trials or uh, play, uh, racing against ghosts in the practice race practice uh, uh, track. So there definitely needs to be more there. Uh, it gives this long lasting appeal. Uh, there is customization. I didn't go through that because, quite frankly, I'm not an expert on that. And like I said, I just been playing this for a little bit over an hour, but I had a ton of fun. Uh, I like this racing game. Um, I, I just wish that there was more to the multiplayer to really give this game, um, you know, just that long-lasting appeal. But even the, and, and even for the single player, it'd be fun if there was like a career mode. So just, just some of the modes are lacking. Like you saw the, the single player was just basically racing tracks against AI. You can choose a difficulty, but there's not a career mode. So yeah, it doesn't feel like a full-fledged racing title for that reason. But the core gameplay loop is a lot of fun. So, you know, I did enjoy racing, even against the AI, uh, even the time trials, even against the PvP multiplayer ghosts. I had run fun all the time racing uh, the different tracks. Like I said, some look better than others, but they're all fun to race. And, you know, racing the different uh, carts as well. Although this one, like I said, has a graphical issue. Anyways, I'm Fast Lawyer. This has been my initial impressions for uh, Cartcraft VR. Uh, I almost hate to score it because I don't think I played enough to give it a, an honest score. Um, just notice that it does have some of the missing modes and whatnot. So I do recommend it, but I'm not going to score it because, like I said, I don't, I don't think I've played this game enough to give it a, a score that, that, you know, that I could defend later on. 
but definitely notice at least I was able to give you enough information for you to make a decision for yourself whether um, this is something that's right for you or not. You know, like I said, the, the issues with the multiplayer, with the limited modes, but also the fun parts of this title. Anyways, I'm Fast Lawyer. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, have a wonderful day. Goodbye.